It has been five years since Apple introduced the first generation AirPods. After three generations of upgrades and innovations, it is more and more favored by people. However, with a gradual increase in sales volume, the lination and repair rates are also increasing. The immaturity of AirPods repair skills do annoy users and technicians. So, how to do with AirPods failures? In this video, we will share some turndown and repair skills on AirPods. This is charging station for AirPods 2. Broken shell has been removed. We can observe its specific internal structure. AirPods indicator light doesn't work when we test its function. Remove flex from charging bin, lift up charging bin with the scrape knife. Then we can see battery now. At this time, we need to take out charging port and unbolt fixing screw. Next, disassemble main board. Heat main board with 250 degree hot air gun. Since battery behind main board is fixed with glue, we need heat and soften it for facilitate removal. Cut this two main board buckle after heating, then lift up battery with nylon stick carefully. Remember to disconnect bottom battery flex in advance after lifting battery. Take off battery first. Heat main board again and remove it by gently pressing it from the back. This is the whole internal structure of AirPods 2. Next step is to replace charging bin to test main board. Indicator lights up after power on, that means it, that's working normally. Connecting phone to AirPods can accurately test its working state. When we take off right headset, we can see the left one is in normal charging state. Similarly, charge right headset and put off left one. Right headset is still charging. It means AirPods charging works well. Power up to test charging bin, charging label shows it works well. Put off one headset. When we press power button, indicator light turns white, which means it sends signals normally. Main board is faultless. Let's replace genuine, charging bin to test, indicator light still off. but phone has detected AirPods. Now we finally find out what causes failure, charging bin indicator light. When we disassemble indicator light cable, we can see there are obvious traces of water corrosion and luminous part. Now we can basically confirm the cause of failure. In daily use, AirPods will inevitably get damp or water damaged, which resulting in corrosion damage. In these cases, we need to repair. Just replace a new flex, now reinstall main board, battery and charging port and turn. Then tighten screws. Test all function again.
everything works well. AirPods indicator problem has been successfully repaired. The repair demand for AirPods is gradually increasing, which provides a great profit margin for repair industry. In the coming videos, we will share more repair skills on AirPods to help you repair it easier. If you are interested in AirPods repair, welcome to subscribe us. See you next time.